Hello everyone, welcome back to another Mattel Jurassic World review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Dominion, War Strikers, and Kylosaurus. Now I got this figure from Walmart for $17 for some reason. Even though the original retail price for this line of figures is $14.99. But I saw, but here's the thing, I saw a bunch of them and... There was like a bunch of other War Striker figures, and it was Wave One. So, just a hedge. Just actually, I'll let you guys know about that later in the. Um, so, this is the new Jurassic World Dominion lineup, and as you can tell by the packaging, in my opinion, I think out of all of the box art that we got for the packaging, out of all the figures and all the lineups, I think this one looks the best. Like the best box art in the box design that they did in the rendering for it. It looks really, really good. And they did a great, and Mattel did a great job designing it. It just looks great. But anyway, this is the Ankylosaurus War Strikers. Um, this is my first Dominion figure that I have collected. And let's take a look at the box art. You got the Jurassic World Dominion logo down there. There it says War Strikers. There's a line that it's in. Then there's the Mattel logo down there. Then there's the render of Rexy on the left side of the box art. Then there's the Jurassic World Dominion logo on top. And you got the then you got the speaker. Because that it makes noises, but we'll get this out in a second. It also says it. It also says on the side. It says this under here. It's like a label for hopefully whatever. Now here is the back. These are the figures that I saw at Walmart that's also in this wave. You got the if you don't know what these dinosaurs are right here, these are some new dinosaurs that we're getting from Mattel that we already got from Mattel. There's the Rogersaurus, and there's the Scorpio Venator, and then there's the Triceratops. Now, these three figures I saw at Walmart. I was going to get the Triceratops, just to let you know. I was really, really going to get it. But then I thought to myself, yes, I don't have a Triceratops, and I also don't have an Ankylosaurus. I already have a Ceratopsian dinosaur, but it's a different one. It's the Sinoceratops, and he's also green. So I think it would be a little bit better if I got this figure and then next time I might I might get the Triceratops. Um, then you got this amazing looking render of the Pyroraptor in Jurassic World Dominion logo right there. And then it shows the action feature right there in the back where you push down on the figure and then it moves the tail. And it says, Press down and roar. Press down and roar, that's what it says. And then there's a Mattel logo, Rogersaurus, Scorpio Venator, Triceratops. Now this Triceratops figure is actually really nice looking. I believe it's not the first green Triceratops that we got, but it's like it's a different shade of green than the battle. I think it's the I think it's called the Battle Damage Triceratops that we got all the way back in 2019 from Dino Rivals, the Dino Rivals lineup. And this Ankylosaurus, in my opinion, is probably the best Ankylosaurus that we ever gotten. It's red. The other Ankylosaurus figures that we got were either green, a tint of blue. I think it was a tint of blue. I can't tell because I've never had the other Ankylosaurus figure before ever. I really wish I had them though, but they're a little bit hard to get. Except for the War Attack one, Bumpy. War Attack Bumpy. But. And then. There's a slider button for the. Actually, I'll get into detail, but. As a photo, but. Anyway. That's the end of the. Box art reveal. Now, let's get deeper into this figure. Okay, so here we have it with the figure unboxed from the, well, box. Here's the, oh, 
sorry about that. But anyway, here's the figure. So all of the $15 lineups that we had in the past, this is the same thing, except that it has an interesting action feature how it works, where you can press it down and make it like roar like that. But anyway, there are some new things with the Dominion lineup. So, but anyway, let's go to how this figure looks. Now, out of all the Encalosaurus figures that we've had so far, I'd say that this one is not only my favorite to me, but also, like, the best because, well, it's red and, or, like, a some type of red color. And this is probably the best Encalosaurus figure that we had, in my opinion. And... All of the colors of the Colosaurus figures that we had were green, a dark green, brown. I mean, there is, here's the thing. There is a Dino Rivals and Colosaurus figure that we got that looked similar to this, but this one looks better. But anyway, the spikes on this figure, the rubber, rubber, and... I assume that the spikes on the other Colosaurus figures were plastic. I don't know that. I'm just I'm just assuming that. Just in case, but if I am wrong, please correct me. Cause I've never had any of the other uh Encalosaurus figures. But anyway, now if you look at the bottom, now in the new Dominion lineup, if you look at the bottom of the feet, you can see that there is no longer a sticker on any of the feet of the figures. But what they have done is that they've did this. The scan code is not under the feet, so what they did is that they put it in there, which I think was unnecessary. They didn't have to do that. I think it could have, in my opinion, I think it would have been better if they would have just kept the scan code on the bottom of the feet. Yeah, I think it's a lot better if they did that, but what they did is that they put like a small mold into the molding of the like a slider button in the mold of the absent, fig absent figure, which was, they didn't have to do that. I don't know why they did that. They didn't even have to change anything about that. All they had to do was just keep it and just leave it alone. I don't know why they did that. But anyway, this source figure looks pretty cool. Now, if you look at the feet, the claws are not painted in. They're very, very small, but they did not paint them. You got the speaker box, and you got the nail where you can take the batteries in and out. You got the, the eyes are yellow with a black pupil. Mm. The beak, they did not color the beak. It's red, just like the overall color of the body. Then you got the, you got the spikes on the head. They were brown. They look nice. Then the spikes on the side of the head. At the top, they're brown, but underneath those spikes are red, which is not that bad. Um, I say this looks pretty cool. And then the overall osteoderm on the back is brown. The spikes are, the, the overall spikes that they put on this figure, they're not white. I mean, I, I guess you could say they're white is, but they're like a dark, like a really dark white color. Then the face is red. And you got, and then let's go into the tail. Now this, now here's the thing. These figures, they make three sound effects. And then I'm gonna play the first one. This is how the action feature works. It works like this. But you press it down on the back and then it goes down and then it makes a noise and then it moves the tail. But anyway, let's play the audios. There are three audios that it makes three sound effects and let's play them. There's one. There's two. And there's three. I gotta say they did play, out of all those sounds, the second sound that I just played was the most familiar to me. Because I don't really pay attention to like the sound effects of the Ankylosaurus that much, but there is, but there are some sounds that are familiar to me though, and it does not sound that bad. And yeah, now let's play. 
Now you can now you can do this. You can use this action feature to like to fight other dinosaurs or something like that. That's what a lot of them are made for. They're pretty cool. And I'm gonna make now oh, here's the thing. There's some yeah, there's the tricerat that's the triceratops that's in this wave. I was gonna get that one, but I got again I got the Encosaurus. And I gotta say this figure is pretty cool. I really like this figure. This is, for some reason, this is my favorite, or at least one of my favorite. Yeah, this, again, this is my favorite in Kyle Source figure that we got based off of the paint job and the, now, the texture. They got that bumpy reptilian like texture and molding onto the to the figure they got it on the face underneath on the chin it looks a little bit different but and then it, they did a good job with this they get they did a good job with the scales to make it look reptile like they did a good job with that Mattel, they did a good job now we got the tail here's the club the club the tail now they did put a little bit of red under the tail and then the rest of it is brown um, just got to say, which is pretty cool. And I got to say, I got to say, this is, I think this figure would look a little bit, not, it wouldn't look that bad if it had like just straight white spikes along its osteoderm back, like. I think it would, yeah, it looks better with this color than just plain white, like, just... sorry, that's my brother in the background, he's screaming, and they did a good job with molding in the tail, and the way the tail looks, and also that part of the tail, they did a good job with that, and they did, they did a good job with the eyes, Underneath, they did a. Here's the thing: they did a good job with like the overall color. I really like the overall color that they picked for this figure. Looks really nice. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. And I am going to make some comparisons with this figure. Here is it compared to the Dino Escape Kentrosaurus figure. And hold on. I gotta say, they did, um, as you can clearly see, that this figure is smaller than the Kentrosaurus. Well, here's the thing, the Ankylosaurus was smaller than the Kentrosaurus, and I gotta say, it's a pretty good scale comparison. Yeah. And then there's the Kentrosaurus. Okay, but here was a compared it to Pierce. Now let's compare it to one of its cousin relatives, the Sauropelta, which was also in in Colosaurian dinosaur. I think it was part of the. I don't know if I'm wrong or right, but it may have been part of the Nodosauridae family. Might have been. I don't know. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if I'm wrong or right, but correct me if I am. Now, as you can tell, this figure is a lot smaller than this entire source figure here. And they did a good job on this figure too, as well. Then, here was it compared to the Sinoceratops, the Primal Attack Sinoceratops figure. This figure is also bigger than the Ankylosaurus. And, wow, well, it scale's pretty, pretty accurate too. And now we're gonna make one more comparison to this figure, the Primal Attack Soundstrike Cryolophosaurus. And let me compare it real quick to size. God, I swear this figure has bad stability on the front part of its body. Don't like it. 
And this figure is also bigger than this Ankylosaurus figure. Let me put that the top. He's almost as long as my guess he is. And yeah, those are all the comparisons for today. And those were all the comparisons. Now I gotta say, this is my overall review. Um, this figure is pretty good. All right, they did a. I think Mattel did it like a very good paint job with this figure. I really did like the the detail with the figure, the spikes on the back. Well, of course they're supposed to do that, of course. But I like the color. I really love the overall color of the body. It just looks so good. How they put red. Out of all the colors they picked red, that I really, I really like how they picked that. I really enjoy that. I really hope they do. Actually, no, they will do. Here's the thing: there are some more War Strike, War Strikers figures that are coming out later next month, I think. And I think it's, uh, I think it might be next month. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know, but um, Wave Two. I don't know. I don't know when Wave Two of War Strikers comes out, but all I know is that for now we have Wave One. It includes the Ankylosaurus, the Triceratops, the Ragosaurus, and the Scorpio Venator, which are two new species that just got introduced into this toy line. And I really like how they did that as well. And also, not just it's not even just them. It's not only just them adding new species of dinosaurs, but also it's them doing a fantastic paint job on these dinosaurs that they make. And this is a perfect, this is a great example of how good they do. And it looks really well. And I really hope Mattel does that like a lot in the future of the Jurassic World Dominion toy lineup. And Wow, it just looks, it just looks really good how they just, sorry, it just looks really good how they do this, and they just, they just do a good job with the paint job and the detail and just the overall molding and everything, and I just really enjoy this, but anyway guys, that's it for the review, if you got, if you want this figure, you can go to Walmart, you can buy it for $14.99 depending on where you live, I think. But I got mines for for some reason I got mines for $16.97 or $96. I don't know why it costs that much. But anyway, it's not really that big of a deal. It's only what well, like it's only what well, like a couple dollars over the original price, and the original price is what $14.99 or $15. And anyways. If you also want to get this figure off of Amazon, you can do that, uh, I think. Now, the next review, it might be a FNAF review for, I don't, I don't know. Um, I looked at, I did look at Walmart. They didn't have too much FNAF stuff going on. They just had, they had a Shamrock Freddy plushie. I might review that next time. I really need to start getting more plushies. The last time I got a plushie was what, like last year for my birthday. That was almost a year ago. That was in August of 2021. It was the Pig Pats plushie. And yeah, I really need to start getting plushies, FNAF plushies more often. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this review, leave a like, hit that subscribe button so you don't yeah, hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you don't miss it. So you don't miss out on any future uploads. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye and take care of all of you.